Hey guys, my name is Superboy24 and welcome back to another seed showcase. This is probably the best survival seed that you can use on the Xbox 360. So yeah, PC gamers don't use this. Uh, this is Xbox 360. I'm not sure if it will work on PlayStation, but try out. But yeah, there is all the coordinates, every single location that I go to and more in the description. And there's also the seed name in the description as well. So yeah, as you can see, we've got some mushroom biomes. Uh, over here, we've got some nice hilltops I guess and right next to this we have a jungle and next to the jungle biomes we have the snow biomes so yeah there's every single thing that you can imagine in survival there's ender portals diamonds loads of different villages there is temples including the desert and the jungle so both temples so many different types of villages there is so many things in this world guys it's basically everything that you can imagine in a world so yeah, just go ahead and try it out for yourself. Comment down below what you think about this seed. Personally, I think this is probably one of the best survival seeds there is. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. Hopefully, you will enjoy it as well, playing on this seed. Again, the seed name is in the description. It's all numerical, uh, with a minus, of course, and minus numerical numbers. So yeah, i also show you some of the coordinates to some of the locations. So if you want to go to the biomes or the jungle, as you've just seen here, just go to that location, pause the video, and there you go. There's also a great cave system over here where you spawn. Right behind where you spawn, there's a cave system to these coordinates right there. X14, Y72, and Z158. Just pull out your map and go to that coordinates. And you find two cave systems right next to each other. So many, so many ores, I guess. Right there, there's probably like a full stack of coal. Like, to your hand. It was so close to get so many pieces of coal. Just right there in a cave system. There's water and lava. That means there's going to be obsidian. As you can see, there's loads of iron as well in this cave system. There's diamonds. There's gold. There's loads of redstone and all those type of ores in Minecraft. I think there's literally every single type of ore in this cave system. It's it just the matter of actually exploring. This cave is absolutely massive. Like, I was getting lost so much. Again, there's coal there. Look how much coal there is. And then over here, guys, we do have a stronghold, which you'll see right now. As you can see, there is the stronghold, meaning there is an ender portal, which I'll show you very soon to the coordinates. So, yeah, if you want to go to the stronghold, here is the coordinates as well. Or if you want to go to that location, that is the coordinates to it. So, yeah, just pause the video again, and here we go. This is the stronghold. This is what it's going to look like. We've got some, some slabs, some stone bricks, I guess. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice stronghold. There's some gold ores, like I said. Um, more coal, there's like so much coal, it's basically unlimited coal in this world. And then here is the stronghold, uh, a bit more of it I guess. Uh, we've got some lava, some water, I think there's some obsidian underneath. So you just go ahead and check it out for yourself guys. And here guys is the special one, the ender portal to get to the ender world and defeat the end dragon of course. You need one of these to actually win survival on Minecraft I guess. So yeah, here is the coordinates to the ender portal. There's the coordinates as well in the description which you can use. So yeah, if you want to go to the ender portal, go over there as well. And as you can remember, that is where we spawn. So if you go a bit further on into the ocean, dig down, just keep on going down and down and down. You'll hit the ender portal just like I did here. I accidentally ruined the ender portal because I digged uh, of course up and the water just went in so it kind of got destroyed but yeah that is where the ender portal is located and here's a nice like a, a nice showcase of the land loads of trees so much wood that you can collect really nice way to uh, you can build like villages cities whatever you want to do here as you can see here's a nice village here on water so if you like the village on water then it's a nice place here here's the coordinates again so go ahead and pause the video it's right well it's located right to the side of the world and here we go we have a chest in here as well and in the chest which I will show you as soon as you go there we go we got some iron ingots some leggings some boots and I think that's an iron pick yeah that is an iron pick as well and yeah that is a bird's eye view I guess of that village we've got some more villages here as you can see unfortunately this is probably the worst village there but you know there is some kind of tunnel underground which is pretty nice we can still go there and roam their farm and get their wheat but yeah underneath this village there's like a little tunnel thing which you probably saw from above yeah underneath that there's a bit of iron it's not far away from the spawn point so 
yeah, as you can see, there's four blocks of iron ores. I'm not sure if there's more underneath. There probably is. But here's a nice showcase again. Nice little hillside next to rivers. Very nice location again if you want to build some stuff. And here we've got some more villages. There is a lot of villages, guys. Oh, every single village. Desert village. These kind of villages. All the coordinates to them are in the description. So, yeah, if you want to go ahead and find all the villages, then look at the description and... Uh, Look at the coordinates. Here we've got some books, so if you want to take some books, go ahead and do so now. Just raid their village. Do whatever you want with the villages. Some people I know, they do survival inside the, the buildings of the villages instead of building their own house, which is a good idea, I guess. And here, right at the top of the map, we have really nice mountains. So I told you, they have every single thing that you want in a map. Really nice mountains. Uh, you'll see a very nice kind of shot of these mountains from behind so yeah it's a pretty nice mountain here and it is the best shot it's absolutely amazing mountain kind of thing which you'll see at the moment which is now look at that that is absolutely amazing so if you want to build something near to that it's gonna look absolutely amazing and yeah it, there's the coordinates to it as you can see right to the top of the map so if you want to track all the way there you you'll find a pretty good location and it's worth it so yeah some villages there which we already showcased I guess and here's like a nice showcase of all the um the, the area I guess and I mean we're going to the snow biomes as you can see as well and there is a pumpkin as you can see if you want to go and get that pumpkin I'm going to show you the coordinates of it here we go so yeah go ahead and pause the video I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in the description but yeah here's the best village that I found it's on the hill kind of thing and it's just absolutely amazing I, I really like this village you know it's on the hill looks pretty nice Everything is laid out really nicely. So yeah, just go ahead and check that one out. It's on the left side on the map, kind of like near the top, I guess, left to the top, as you can see. Here's the coordinates to that village. Really nice, got a nice little church as well. Nice place, to, and I know, to make your house as well, I guess. And we have loads and loads of mob spawners. Here's the spider one. So yeah, here's the coordinates. Actually, underneath the pond, and I think it's open because it's sand. I had to actually fill it up with some grass underneath, otherwise water would just keep on going and going. And look at this, we have some two enchanted books, as you can see. And uh, we've got some saddles, some bread, some iron ingots, redstone, and I'm not sure what that is, a bucket as well. So yeah, two enchanted books, which you can collect if you just go to that spider uh, mob spawner, I guess. And we've got some more stuff here, some string, iron ingots, some wheat, and redstone in the other chest. And then the actual mob spawner for the spiders, which you can get loads and loads and loads of XP just from making some kind of trap and just killing loads and loads of spiders, as you can see. I'm playing on peaceful, of course, so they're not going to pop up. So yeah, that is the mob spawner. And then everybody would want to have diamonds. Unfortunately, I accidentally deleted one of the diamonds that kept kind of mining down and just didn't realize I actually hit a diamond. But yeah, there is diamonds, as you can see. Here's proof. I'm going to show you the coordinates very soon. Uh, I'm just digging around just to get a look at how many diamonds there are. There's quite a bit. Uh, there are all the diamond locations in the map, of course. There's coordinates down below. There's, of course, obsidian, which can make portals. Here are the coordinates to the diamonds. Of course, it's underground uh, in the ocean. Of course, it's going to be underground, but it's uh, well underneath the ocean. So I guess you have the, have a little swim. And as you can see, there is a de uh, not a desert, but a jungle temple. Be careful because there's loads of traps. If you've never been to one, yeah, the, you have to be careful, I guess, because there's loads of traps. So yeah, kind of be careful when you go down. You have to go to the left, press the levers, a secret passageway will open, and some arrows will fire at you. Just be careful when you do go there. Uh, kind of dark, so I place a torch there. As you can see, there is some levers. Three, press that, that opens over here. And as you can see, I'm going to get like hurt by some arrows just like that, and some redstone, as you can see. Uh, let me just place a torch here, and it lightens up. Yeah, you can grab some redstone if you want, and be careful when you open the chest, because well, behind that chest, the dispenser, and there's a trip wire, which I'll show you what happens. We've got some emeralds, some bone, and so some more ingots, and so on. Here's the uh, trip wire, so if you step on that, the dispenser will go off, uh, hitting some arrows on you, and you're dead. So yeah, here's the coordinates to the desert, not the desert, the jungle temple. So yeah, just go ahead and pause the video, and there it is. It's right at the top left side corner of the map, and... Again, there's the desert temple, not the jungle temple, yeah, so the desert temple is here. Uh, apparently the loot, or the chests, they're not the same, apparently they get, um, this is random, so I'm not sure if that's true, I, I, I didn't really go up twice on this seed, I just checked it out for myself once. So yeah, we're gonna have a look what it is, just make sure you don't, uh, you know, stand on that pressure plate. 
And then here are the chests. We've got some emeralds, some bone, uh, some more ingots, some more bone. And we have two diamonds. I'm not sure if the chests are random or they're the same, so you get all of this. But I just stepped on the pressure plate just to see what's underneath. You might as well just do it. So underneath, it's not worth it. You might as well just collect the TNT because there is hardly anything. It's not worth getting the iron and so on because you can just get it from the cave system. So yeah, I suggest do not step on the pressure plate when you do it. And right next to that desert temple, uh, we have the desert village as well. And inside the desert village, we have one of these, of course. And inside of this, we have the chest and we got some iron stuff. We've got iron helmets, two iron ingots and iron pick. I'm not sure if the loots do go random, but yeah, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this seed showcase. Tell me what you think below. Uh, all the quants to it is in the description. I'll check you out in the next video, guys. Peace. Bye.